I want to unscrew this thing. There we go. <laughs> yes! It's unscrewing! That was awesome! Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Check it out. It's a Deep Trekker. You may have seen the unboxing of this guy. This is basically an underwater submarine that has a grabber arm on it. See that grabber arm there? And we're going to put, put it in the pool today. We're going to do a pool test before we take it into the ocean. I'm going to be recording these goggles for you. And these are the Sky Zone goggles. I have the RCA input plugged into the AV input and coming out of the controller. So we'll have the screen up here. And then I'm also going to put these goggles on and uh, try to record what it looks like in the FPV view for you guys. And also record, this thing does up to 4K recording. So I'm also gonna try to have some footage on here. We'll try to test the lights out. Jerry rigged this little uh, jar here, this little plastic canister. And I just put some attachments on it. So we're gonna try some stuff like possibly using that arm to try to screw the cover on and off. See if we can pick this thing up and pull it up. And I also have some things in here in, in the container just to kind of show like a use case of how this thing could possibly function. It is the worker, so you know, you want to put this thing to work. I want to try to pick some things up also and see how easy it is to pick them up and bring them over to a container, put them in. I'm not sure how hard it's going to be, but we're going to just try a couple of these little cool use cases for the Deep Trekker worker sub. So. Let's get started. Okay, so the deep checker has got to be one of the easiest subs to turn on. All you do is you make sure you have, it's a direct connection from the controller through this awesome tether reel. And this reel is just so awesome because nothing gets tangled. It has this awesome uh, little device here that keeps it in perfect connection while this thing spins. So no tangling there. And all you're doing is pressing the power on the actual remote control, just one little press and it starts everything up. You don't have to do any kind of separate powering up at all. At all. So we're just waiting for the video to come up and there we go. So you can see the video in my hat cam of the screen. All right, so let's get this thing in the water. So just setting it in the top, just want to kind of brush the front glass a little bit, get the bubbles off just in case there's some bubbles on there. Let's see what we can do with this thing. So it's kind of floating right now. I went ahead and just tossed the jar in there. You can probably see it on the video there. I do want to start recording the deep tracker video. So I want to press the icon and then one. Okay, that switches to pictures. Let's go ahead and take a pic real quick. Hazard icon and two is snapping shots. We'll just take another picture of that. So I'll have those up on the screen just so you can see what the pictures look like. What I do want to do though, is I want to go into video. So I'm pressing the hazard one again for video. It's saying wait, there we go. And now I'm pressing the hazard and two, holding the hazard and two. There we go. So we should be recording video now. If I press forward on the left stick, I'm going forward and it seems pretty fast. So I want to check my rate. So this um, kind of trigger button that's in the inside here, I'm going to go ahead and press that down. Yeah, so we're at the maximum to start off with at 10. And I'm going to go all the way down to 4. See how that kind of performs for us. Looks like we are kind of sinking a bit. Maybe we'll go up to 5. Just so we can kind of pull some tether out. I do want to give it a little bit of slack here. Just so the tether's not yanking on it. While we try to work here. So the video, man, the, the screen looks really nice and crystal clear. I'm really liking how the screen looks. Um, just kind of rotating. That's a little bit of rust in the bottom of the pool there from a net that kids left in there. There's a giraffe over there. Let's go ahead and check out this giraffe and see if we can pick it up. So I'm rotating the camera with that right trigger on the outside there, rotating it down so I can see the grabber arm a little bit. And with this right stick, okay, so it's locked into, what is it locked into? So as I'm pushing, up and down, it's actually keeping the camera straight. So I want to change that. I want to take that off by pressing this button here, I believe. And so what that does is if I go to my arm and I go up and down, it should lock in its position of the outside of the sub. Okay, so we want to go ahead and grab this giraffe. So let's see the best way to do it. I'm going to open the claw with the left trigger up. Yeah, so left trigger up. I'll rotate that claw a little bit just so it's kind of flat 
and we want to turn and then I'm going to go forward with the left stick going forward a bit and don't forget we can also point it down by pushing forward kind of like an airplane or a yeah kind of like an airplane so we'll get that in the grabber's claws and then we want to press whoops whoa so so this is what we got to do to practice to get ready for you know the real stuff we don't want to be doing this in some current in the ocean and not being able to control it so I want to make sure I practice a little bit maybe even push it against the wall to support it man this draft just does not want to cooperate does it right there okay now pinching there we go okay got its legs and I did that by just holding down the bottom of this left trigger so I got its leg and it looks like it's in there pretty good I'm shaking up and down and it's not coming out so I could move the camera up and down whatever I wanted to do I could surface by pulling back and pointing up at the surface and then pushing forward on the left stick and see how we're surfacing what I noticed about this one is if you're pointed up at the surface you can't really turn left and right because it just has those two rear thrusters so say if I wanted to surface it has to rotate the whole craft up so you see how it's pointing straight up and you can't turn left and right when it's pointing up you have to have a little bit of an angle forward and then you can go ahead and turn left and right see that and that's just the physics of the whole thing it's just that's the limitations so okay we got our giraffe and I'm just gonna put him down right here so I'm pressing up to release him and I'm just gonna pull back there we go so he's released so what I want to do is I want to work with this little jar here real quick so I'll go ahead and go I just move my camera up a little bit um, I want to unscrew the jar first so I'm gonna go around to the front of it like this I'm gonna turn around and this is where we may need to work on our positioning and our really fine movements looks pretty good though and you see how what I want to do is I want to grab that that little ring so what I want to do is turn the arm perpendicular like this and then I want to slowly slide forward probably want to open it up a little bit I want to press up to open it and we want to go right into it just like that and then we're gonna press down Oop, see how we're just a little bit off so this is gonna take some finesse I want to turn the arm a little bit to the right so we're a little bit more perpendicular there we go okay open it up again and turn to our left there we go so as you as you might notice this is going to be really tough to do in some current so it's going to be interesting doing this in any kind of current whatsoever okay let's try to grab this again I'm just trying to match up the angle of this ring there we go I'm turning left a little bit more okay now we're gonna clamp it there we go got it so that thing is clamped so I'm looking at the sub with my hat cam now and I do have like an 8 ounce weight in there but it's let's see if it can handle this let me see if I can carry this thing around let's see okay so I'm gonna move I'm gonna up the rates all the way to 10 and let's see just how easy it is if this thing is completely clamped on as hard as it can I'm making sure it's clamped on let's see how we can move around with this thing so I can lift it up and go forward wow that's I think that's about a pound of weight in there um, you, so you could surface if you really went ahead and um, angled it hard and pushed hard you could surface with this thing you just pulled back and then just shot forward boom see that so I can surface with that amount of weight so that's not bad it is hanging on to it really good Let me untwist the wire here twist around here so what I wanted to do guys was um, open this jar up right so I'm gonna set it down right here because I want to take some stuff out and put some stuff into it and so I'm down on the ground just sitting there and I want to rotate this thing to the left 
So I'm making sure I'm gripped as hard as I can. And I'm gonna press the left cross on the left trigger and rotate this thing to the left. And let's see if it can do it. Wow, it can't because I'm gripped. The thing about this one is if you grip super hard, it has trouble rotating. So I'm gonna have to release the grip a little bit. And let's try that again. I wanna unscrew this thing. There we go. <laughs> yes, it's unscrewing. That was awesome. Okay, success. And I had that thing, you know, not super tight, but I had it a little bit tight on there. So that was great. So we're able to unscrew a cap. Now let's let this thing loose. Okay, and I wanna go into the jar and try to pick some stuff out of it. And I'm at, I'm at 10 movement, so I wanna drop down my rates. So I'm gonna go down to maybe five again, just so I have a nice slow movement here. Um, we haven't even tried the lights yet because it is quite sunny. Let me just close this arm just a little bit and straighten it out. There we go. Anyway, if I turn the lights on facing this box, let's see what happens, or this um, jar. So we'll go ahead and turn. That's the, is that the internal light? That's all the lights on right now. So you can see how that brightened it up quite a bit. That's great. So now I wanna pull some stuff out of this jar here. So we'll go ahead and open up the grabber just a little bit. So up is to open. I'm gonna go forward a little. There we go, so I got this little hook. I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna pull back. Awesome. So I took that out. Let's put this on the side here. Right here, this should be good. Opening up and just kind of pushing down and back. Oop. There we go, just released it. So if there's one little con there, it is gonna be um, when you're doing those kind of movements up and down, there's gonna be some sway up and down like that. So of course, uh, the better, more calm waters, the easier it is gonna be to work. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slap these goggles on. So I've been talking to you in my hat cam and looking at the deep trekker screen. I wanna put these goggles on and see how it looks in here. Okay, so I have my goggles on. I'm gonna do this strictly from the goggles now on my head. Uh, and you guys will be seeing exactly what I'm seeing. So I wanna take some more things out of this jar. Let's see here. Uh, I guess I could just rotate and grab this rope and pull. This weight is on the rope. So I'm gonna go like that, grab it, and come on out. There's a little bobber we're gonna be testing. Whoops, there we go. That thing wants to go up already. Okay, so we'll pull this weight out. There we go. Weight's out. We'll kind of put it over here. Oh, I do have all the lights on. Maybe I'll turn the lights off just to save some power. I've got them all on. I don't think I need them all on. Okay. Lights off. So. Okay, so we want to release this thing. Let's open up the claw and turn to the right. There we go. That's releasing that thing. Let's kind of move this to the side a little bit so we can work. Uh, it's kind of in the way. <laughs> okay, let me move this jar. Well, now the jar is really light, so it's just gonna float around. I think that's that's kind of everything out of the jar. So there we go. So the jar is ready to, let me grab the jar and move it a little bit because the jar is ready to put things in it. So clamp, clamping down on the jar. And I wanna move it just a little bit over here. Maybe we'll put it up against the wall. Might be a little bit difficult to um, do stuff like this, like verti vertically place things. Not the, oh, oh, what happened there? Oh, there I got it. Okay, that's facing up. But of course, if you were doing this in the ocean, you wouldn't have, you would, probably wouldn't be able to do that unless it was super still because the current would move that around. So I'm gonna start putting stuff in here. Um, let's go ahead and try to grab this golf ball. See that golf ball there? So we will go right here, open up a little bit. And let's see if it's even possible to grab a golf ball. This is gonna be tough, I think. 
we'll just go right in here and then we'll just really lightly just go down a little bit more forward oh this is gonna be tough this is gonna be really tough because it's just rolling around there we go okay I just want to wedge it against the wall and grab it okay go ahead and grab very lightly very lightly okay well I got it I think it's just kind of setting on the top a little bit but I did get it let's see if I can pull it back I want to put this inside the container of course I can move the camera independently however I want so I'll move it just about here so we can see what's going on and uh, we do want to come up a little bit whoa easy 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 I don't even know if is it just balancing we want to get right over oh, oh I'm gonna push it over yeah I just pushed it over so we're probably gonna have to go around the front guys so we're gonna go around the front here a little bit and then turn around Ooh, don't lose our golf ball I saw it moving a little bit turn 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 there we go okay we just want to put it inside here okay come on there we go okay we don't want to grab the edge of it do we oh I just lost it shucks man I'm gonna grab it again oh <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna give up on the golf ball. It is possible you saw that, uh, but since it's a round surface, it's hard to grab. Let's grab this thing. This is a submarine. Again, this thing doesn't have really any lag at all. So this is really what you're seeing. You're not seeing any lag whatsoever because it's a direct connection. You know what I mean? So, oh, whoa, okay. That was kind of funny. Gosh, it's just it's just getting the angle right to grab things like this is gonna be the tough part. Oh my goodness. Okay, one more attempt at this. If we can't get it in this run, we'll go back to the uh, giraffe and see if we can get the giraffe again. So I just want to really slowly inch towards it, and then once we get it right in between those fins. I'm gonna go ahead and try to grab it. So let's grab it now. Got it. Okay, perfect. So you see that? Let's see if we can spin it if we wanted to. It spins really slow when it's tight. That's something I don't like. When the arm is super tight, our spinning doesn't work too good. So if you need to grab something tight and spin it, you're gonna have trouble. All right, well, let's get it into this container. So we'll go forward over here and then we'll spin it around. Okay, there we go. There is our jar. Hey, there's a golf ball saying hi. So we'll go in here and then we'll just drop it. Opening up. Nice. Okay. So that's in the jar, giving us a little bit of weight. Okay, let's go grab the giraffe again, put it in there. See how quickly we can do this. This might be a good candidate for this spinning the arm and then grabbing it like this let's try this just like this getting it perfect and then clamping right down boom easy that was simple because we had a little bit of an arch there remember on the neck oh we hit in the container we do not want to hit stuff out of the container so just kind of getting at the angle we need in front of it turning a little bit and let's see if this is even going to work. See, I'm not able to turn to the right, so I want to up my rate a little bit because there's some problem with turning to the right right now. And will this draft even fit <laughs> at this angle? We might have to work it in head first. There we go. Okay, we're in. Excuse the sirens, guys. This is just the urban area siren issue. All right, opening up. And just coming out there we go so we got two items in the bucket let's just do a quick little attempt just like that and grab there we go I think I got it 
Yes, I did. Okay. Wow, but that's eight ounces of weight, right? So the front is now dropping down quite a bit. If I pull back on the right pitch stick, I am able to move around and I'm able to go up. This thing can carry some weight. I have a few pounds probably. Uh, I'm not going to put it in the jar, but I just want to go to a location and maybe drop it off. So what's that? Oh, that's the clip. Okay, that's a clip I wanted to try. So we'll just go over here and just drop it. Um, maybe right over here by this red rust stain right here. So say we found something and we'll just release by pressing up on the jaws and we just dropped our locator. Now I'm gonna use the camera control. I'm gonna just let the sub sit here and rotate up on the camera and check that out. We can see that it's marking our location and that's a pretty heavy weight. And by the way, this is the camera turned all the way up at the bottom of this pool. You can see this kind of a screw there, right there, holding the two halves together. Now this is how far it'll ro rotate all the way down. So if you didn't have the grabber on our arm on there, you could actually see clear through to the ground if you wanted to. This might be too difficult, but I'm just gonna try it. Just to bring it to me and then I'm going to, um, I'm gonna clip it on the arm. See if it'll work. Oh, I got it, I think I got it, yes. Okay, <laughs> wow. So you can do articulate things like that, guys. Of course, remember the current is gonna be your nemesis when it's pushing this thing around, but look at that. So I got this thing, I'm gonna bring it back to me. Okay, hello. <laughs> I wanna clip it on here so the clip is kinda opened up. Okay, let's try that. So I just kinda have it wedged in just like that so that when I push the sub down, I can go like that on it and then pull back and it should clip in. So let's give that a try. You're gonna have to like set something like this up. You just have to make it match the arms and stuff and then really clamp it down tight and of course not hit the ground or anything. So let's see if that works. We wanna lift it right up. So I'm pulling back on the right stick and I just wanna, kinda of wanna like push it down. This is gonna be really tough. I don't even know if this is gonna work. I just wanna slam it down on it. Oop. A little more forward. Let's see, it's kinda of slipping. <laughs> so you know what I'm trying to do? I'm trying to push the hook open and then clip it, but I really don't think this is gonna work just because I can't see the bottom enough to be on the clip. I'll just try it a couple times. Ah, yeah. It's just slipping right over the, uh, it's just slipping right over it. Gotta like slam it down on it. Boom, nope, whoa. <laughs> Probably putting the holes in my pool. But look at that, we put stuff in the bucket. We took stuff out, we put stuff in, and we brought it to the surface, which was pretty darn cool, man. So, and the cool thing about the Deep Trekker is all you need to do is um, press power. Of course, we wanna stop recording, so we'll hold down this um, caution button and press two. And that's saving, you can see on it, it says save video. And then all we need to do is press power. And that just powers the whole thing down. Pulling this thing out of the water, it's not light. I mean, this has gotta be, I think I mentioned like 15, 20 pounds. It's probably more like 20, 25 pounds. But as you can see, the, the arm was pretty cool. I mean, the coolest sub I've had, the lights even work good in daytime to just light up what you're working on. And this tether reel is really awesome. These, I really like the way they made these feet just kind of pop out like this. The grabber arm is just so awesome, can't get over it. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, the link's in the description of the Deep Trekker down below the video. So you can check this one out yourself. And don't forget, this one's gonna have another couple of tests. I'm gonna take this to that river where I lost my Mavic Pro and just see if we can just rummage around in the river um, pond here in Hawaii and see if maybe we can find it. I mean, this has such bright lights and you can rotate the camera and, you know, investigate things and grab things with the arm. I'll have a much better chance. And also there was actually a few GoPros that I missed in a purse in um, my last sub video. I think I was doing the QIC 
And I've also done the Gladius in that pond and there was a GoPro I missed and the purse. So I could have, if I had this grabber arm, I could have picked them up. We're gonna try it with this one and we're also gonna try in the ocean and maybe a nighttime in the ocean too. I'm just kind of worried about the the current with this one is all I'm worried about. But maybe I'll go out in a, some deeper, calmer water in the ocean and try this thing out. Until then, thanks for watching guys and I will see you in the next Deep Trekker and other reviews. What's up with the chicken?